What up, everybody? It is time for another eBay break, the final one of the night. It is going to be 2017-18 NBA Hoops Basketball Half Case Break number 4, eBay style. So let's get up on that. Come on. All right. And as always... Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Now, this stuff usually takes a while. Considering there's just so many packs. But, you know, it's only a half caser, so it doesn't do too much damage to my carpal tunnel. Be the man is down for two. Uh oh, prism might break. I got one left. One left. I'm trying to copy and paste it, but I can't. Let me just do this. Guys, one spot left, and we fill prism. One spot left, and there it is. Scott Base fills it. All right, guys, so the prism is done. Scott Bates takes the last spot in the filler. I just checked the store. No teams were gone. So let me take that break out of the store. Where are you, prism? I believe is this one. No, it is not. All right, let me come to the website and pull that real quick. All right, so for those of you guys that know how to make payment directly, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Excuse me. While I take this thing out of the store so people can buy into it. Well, and it is out of the store now. Uh, so for those of you guys that need payment uh, info, a lot of you guys know how to send payment directly already. There's the link for you. Uh, yes, you change the quantity to 55. Uh, Trevor, I haven't opened this. Well, I've opened a few packs. I, just, I haven't gone through them yet. <coughs> uh, Trevor, so uh, you are correct, Scott. You, you change the quantity to, uh, to match the dollar amount. So uh, who do I have in this thing? I have H Town for one. I have Bapa for one. I have Sebastian for two. I got Steel Curtain for one. I got Gambi for two. And I got Scott B bringing that base with the last spot mojo. If only this thing will let me type in. There it is. So that's a total of eight spots. <clears throat> All right, so guys, send those payments on through. When I'm done with this break, I will get that done. Uh, I haven't done a single one, Trevor. I haven't done a single one. I'm only opening up packs from the first box, my man. So you came right on time. <coughs> Alright, so I got Mason. I got Mr. Gallucci. So far with payments. 
I need to drink something real quick. <clears throat> I got you, Steel Curran. I got you. We'll do that uh, that filler when I'm done with this. And as I said, you guys get double giveaway spots as well. I am a man of my word. So far, nothing yet. What happened with Markel Fultz, man? Out indefinitely? What's that about? Autograph for the Grizzlies, Ivan Rab. Let's keep going here. says he's paid gotcha Gumby for the Jazz Alec Burks with the auto let me do this here before I forget I got you, Gumby. Still waiting on some other payments, but that's fine. You know, it's going to take me uh, about an hour to get through this break. All good, H-Town. I know how it is, my man. I know how it is, especially with the Madden, bruh. You know, I, lose, I used to lose friends playing that shit. That's why I stopped. I don't have too many friends as it is. All right, so that's it for that first box. Let's keep it going here. Emily, what do you, what do you mean? Not sure. I know what you're talking about. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. 
I never noticed that. I kind of just figured it was like a short print or something. Which I'm assuming, uh, assuming, assuming that's what that is, you know, the, with the red back. You know, but, but the, the people in here are fancy. If, if it's not an auto or a numbered card, in a low numbered card at that, you don't really consider it a hit. But I get what you're saying, Emily. Alright, Scott M, I also got your payment, man. I appreciate that, bro. We'll get that thing breaking as soon as we're done with this. I hear you, Emily. I hear you. You know what? I didn't, I didn't know that, though, so... I do appreciate it. Like, you mean, like, this... Oh no, that's an insert, so never mind that. Uh, yes, Gombi, yes. Uh, as we do with all the giveaways, we always post those videos up on YouTube for the winners and stuff like that. So yeah, you will see a video posted... Uh, on YouTube when I do that especially since it's break credit you know it's only right I appreciate that Emily I appreciate that you know the, the it's always the more you know by the way pretty much everything ships in this product except a uh, veteran base uh, in case anyone is wondering Yeah, I try to separate the inserts and the base cards. Uh, Taj Gibson to 99 there for the Timberwolves. So if you've noticed, some of you guys are saying, well, why is this guy not sleeving the numbered cards? It's because there's just way too many cards. They will get sleeved by our sorters. Uh, I'm just not doing it live while I break it because it just takes way too much time. Donovan Mitchell of the Jazz autograph there. You know, I usually top load and sleeve autographs and I'll sleeve all numbered cards. Uh, but as I said, there's just way too many in this product. Uh, so I won't be doing it while I do the video live. Otherwise, it will take me like two hours to do. And that's not even a joke. You know, I was doing full cases of this earlier last week. And it was taking me two and a half hours to just to break it. And that's without me sleeving all the cards and stuff, you know. So imagine if I was... Pfft, I'd probably still be doing that. So in the interest of time, uh, I'm just not doing it. Uh, Scott B, I will check that in a second. Uh, when my hands are free. Check that now. I got you, Scott B. You are good to go. Auto for CJ Wilcox there for the Trailblazers. for that so we're two boxes in let me update my payment deal here H-Town is playing a very intense game uh, but considering we still got like 40 minutes to do this thing oh no rush but uh, no pressure H-Town you're uh, you're the last you know what they say, you gotta save the best for last. You're the last in the filler. And uh, once I get this going, uh, once this is done, I should say, I will go ahead and break that full case or prism. 
That's going to take me a long time, too. That'll take me like an hour and a half. What was this? An eight spot filler with double giveaway spots. 16. So that means we're pretty close to doing the. Uh, pretty close to the giveaway. Well, Kendall, we just filled the prism in the store. Uh, so you'll notice that's not left. Uh, but we still got spots left in NT Baseball, uh, NBA Hoops. We have a prism half caser in the website as well. Um, I have personal boxes available of, well, I see, uh, Panini points, so I'm taking that out now. 150 Panini points right there. I also have personal boxes of Archives Baseball. I would love to break that NT Baseball. There's a lot of sick stuff in there. So many packs. I wish I could, Nicholas. If I broke it any faster, the friction would burn the cards. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna take my sweet time either. <laughs> I got seven boxes left after this, so doing I right, doing I right. triple double insert there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Chicka where? Denzel Valentine there, the Bulls, the 99. What is this? DJ Augustine of the Magic there, it's a 199. Not yet, Kyle, not yet. Just started. We're on box three right now. Nothing too ridiculous yet. Tyreek Evans to 25 for the Kings. They always do. You know how I do, Kyle. You know how I pull that fire. Just gotta, just gotta fan the flames a little. Gotta fan the flames a little. And there is the monster. There is the monster. Jason Tatum of the Celtics autograph. That is nice. Would have been sweeter if we could keep the entire auto. Bottom of the J got cut off there. Other than that, that's a good card. That is there. And boom. 
We did get the... I pulled Alonzo Ball the uh, the other day, Emily, and it was numbered to 25. That is a, that's a big boy card right there. That card will probably go for like 500 or something. Kendall wants to fill another hoops break? Well, listen. I will say this. <laughs> Kyle, I got the first part of that. The second part, not yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Uh, yeah, I did pull the Lonzo Ball to 25 already. Um, that card will probably sell for like more than four or five hundred dollars uh, if you sell it now. But if you hold on to it and the guy wins Rookie of the Year, I'm sure that thing will skyrocket in price. Y'all know how the you know y'all know how the hobby works better than I do. But uh, it seems to me it's you know spur of the moment kind of deal. Well, listen, Amy Lee. I'm not sure if you've been if you hung out with us before, or if you or if you've been uh, into any of our breaks before. Um, but that's what I do. I, I just I, I have a tendency to pull greatness. You know, as I, as I pet myself on the back. All right, all jokes aside, let's see what else we got going. It is tough to hit in this, I will say that. But when you do, oh, man, it is greatness. Speaking of that, Kyle, you know, I got to check the, I got to check my phone when I get a chance, because I, I just might make that move. Think it's time, Kyle? Any any tips or any uh, you know wisdom you'd like to impart on your on your uncle Jesse? Yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Come on, Jamal Charles, do something great. Get in the end zone for your boy. I'm getting my ass. I'm getting my ass whooped, man. Ever since Aaron Rodgers went down. Uh, make her laugh. I think I can manage that. Jamal Charles, get in the end zone for your boys. Even if you do, it's not going to mean shit. Still losing. Unless Tyreek Hill runs that thing back to the crib. Oh. You're up by 1.7. Dude, I'm down by like 9 points. If Jamal Charles can score here, that'll help me. And then I need like a miracle from Tyreek. I need him to like bring back a, a touchdown. So Panini points here. Take them out. I do the randoms at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the break. Uh, H Town. Uh, let me check on that. You are good to go, H Town. I got you, my man. And you know what's crazy? She's like really into sports and stuff. 
this is uh just my first attempt at a at an older woman. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Knicks player here. Now he says the N is silent. So Frank Tilakina of the Knicks. I heard him like on a, I heard him on an interview the, like recently, and people were like not making fun of him, but people were like, "Yo, how do you pronounce your last name?" And if I remember correctly, I think he said the N is silent. So just try to give my man his respect and pronounce it correctly. You know, Ben Simmons to ninety nine for the Sixers. That's got to be big. I will sleeve that. You know, Ben Simmons and LeBron only sign upper deck products, so. Got to get it how you live. Nothing there. I need a miracle right now. Yo, you're not going to put Jamal Charles... When you're th when he got you there, like, come on, man, let my boy score. Come on, Broncos. What are you doing? Eric Gordon there for the Rockets to 199. And they scored. Well, there goes that. The Broncos tight end just scored. Yeah, I saw. I just saw that. I was hoping that would go to uh, to Jamal Charles, but no. Well, H Town, that's the. Uh, that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm just. I just want to taste. I just want to taste. That's all. I'm just trying to get in where I fit in. That's all. Worst case scenario, I get the no, and then I'm back to where I started. H Town, you got any uh any pointers for Uncle Jesse? As I put these cards away. Why the skull, Nicholas? I mean, I am trying to kill it, but, you know, one step at a time, one step at a time. Uh, I'm getting my ass whooped, bro. I need Tyreek Hill to explode right now. I need you, Tyreek. Come through for your boy. Well, that's what I want, H-Town. That's, 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 that would be the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, 
she falls in love with the mini Moses, and then, you know, I got to part the seas and catch out. You know what I'm saying? H-Town, you ain't never lie. Big Bapa finally coming through with the sage advice. Yo, Kareem Hunt got shut down this game. Looks like a... Wow, <laughs> Nicholas, why you doing me like that, dog? I ain't, I haven't I haven't done anything yet, bro. I'm not ready. Oh, man, I love it. I love when people tell me I'm not ready, and then I just show up, and I'm ready. I'm most definitely ready. Uh, I think it's the ladder that's not ready. You know why they call me Cardboard Moses? Not just because I'm splitting packs, but I'm splitting all types of seeds. You know what I'm saying? Tristan Thompson there to 99 for the Cavs. What's going on with the Cavaliers? Is it just me? Or do they look like really bad? I need who well, who's getting the ball right now? It doesn't matter. I lost. I lost. For the Kings, Jakar Sampson with the autograph. The you won't do there for the magic to one ninety nine. Well, listen, MCB, whenever he gives advice, it's always from a, from a place of love and experience. You know, not he doesn't help me quite often. But when he does, you know, it works 100% of the time. For the Timberwolves, Justin Patton to 25. That's nice. That was like the longest shovel pass ever. For that, we got five boxes to go. Well, I've pulled a few Watsons already, so it is about time we find out what's in there. It is a full caser. 
It is a full case, sir. And that's the game. Oh. Von Miller, come to the Dolphins, dog. Zeke Elliott sideline until September? What? It's been marinating for a little while, for sure. For sure. We let the juices seep in. You know. It's, it, it's, it's time to cook it. It is time to cook it. We gonna deep fry that bitch. Yo, speaking of, since it's it's holiday time, it's about to be, my, it's my favorite time of year. You know, Halloween is tomorrow. My birthday is the twentieth, and then like a week later, it's it's Thanksgiving. More panini points. God, I hate panini points. We'll do the random for that at the end of the break. We have four hundred fifty panini points so far. Uh. I know you can get some cool stuff with the Panini points. I just, I, I would much rather see the autograph. You know, I'm selfish that way. But uh, anyway, and then Christmas around the corner, and then New Year's, and then blah. Cool. But uh, you guys ever had deep fried turkey? That, you know, I was, I was going to bring it around at some point. But I had deep fried turkey for the first time last year. And uh, I got to say, pretty freaking good. It's a lot better than that dry ass turkey I'm used to. You know, just throw it in the oven for like hours. Yeah, cause listen, I, I, it's it's freaking amazing. But I'll say this: like, I'm Hispanic. You know, I'm Colombian. So we don't really we don't really fry a lot of stuff, honestly. But yes, oh my god, so juicy as opposed to putting it in the oven. Cause then it's just dry as a motherfucker. But when you deep fry that thing, ooh boy. And then what and then a cousin of mine, his wife cooked a like a turducken or something like that. It was like turkey, but there was like chicken inside with like, and it was wrapped in like bacon. It was like, oh, goddamn. Put it on the grill, says Nicholas. Well, actually, we, we've we uh, we've been building like a little a little thing in the back, in the backyard, you know, because of the hurricane. Uh, it cleaned out a lot of stuff. So, you know, we, we were forced to cut down a lot of trees and things of that nature. So the backyard, it looks pretty big now. So we've been building like uh, like we got a little hut that we built there, and now we're gonna have like a little barbecue pit. Uh, I hope it's built in time for Thanksgiving. I think it'll be done in time. Uh, and yes, grilled turkey sounds fuego. Dude, deep fried chicken is where it's at. I mean, I mean turkey. It's super juicy, especially you know depending on the condiments you use, like what you season it with. I'm Hispanic, so if you guys don't aren't aware, Goya and Adobo and Moho, those things are like the greatest thing ever. It'll make anything delicious. You could put some Goya on a turd, and that shit'll take awesome. It'll taste awesome. You won't even know you're eating a turd. You're like, damn, this is some good ass chicken, dude. The turd ducking is no joke. Like. That thing will put you in a coma, yo. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the itis, but like the itis is basically what happens to you after you eat, how you get sleepy and stuff. That thing will knock you out stone cold. For the Sixers, JJ Reddick with the auto. The John Madden turducken. This is true, man. That thing is that thing is legit. That thing is legit.
Damn, Andrew Wiggins dunked all over Josh Richardson. Andrew Wiggins is uh showing out a little bit this year if if, if like it's kind of ridiculous how, how hard he's balling. About time. All right, last stack here. What do you guys got? I mean, I know you guys got to start planning stuff for Thanksgiving now. It's like what? Three weeks away or something like that? Three, four weeks away? Y'all doing anything for uh, for Thanksgiving? Except for that box. Let's put this away. Putting away the base, putting away the base. Really, McBapa? I had not heard about that. Nice. Uh, what do you mean? Well, Nicholas, I, I like to separate them, bro. Uh, no, H-Town, it's, it's a straight-up random. It's straight random. Uh, for that reason alone, that's why I like doing randoms as opposed to drafts. Um, I do like drafts because, you know, it, it involves crowd participation, if you will. But it is it is straight-up uh, random. I keep them separate because, I, I you know, I'm weird. Like, I'm just weird. All right, just so we're clear, though, Nicholas, what do you mean, do I mix what together or keep what separate? You mean, like, the meat or whatnot? I got you, H-Town. I got you, dog. I would love to watch a game at Arrowhead. That stadium looks like it's rocking all day and night. Plus, I was born there, so I would like to try their barbecue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we've done that before, for sure. Uh, except, you know, considering I'm, his I'm Hispanic, we don't really do mashed potatoes. Uh, we do potato salad. And as far as the stuffing... It'll be a mixture of like rice and beans, some corn, uh, chopped up potatoes, not mashed, things like that. Stuffing tastes like pizza. What the fuck? What kind of stuffing are you having? Because I want in on that action. That sounds amazing. Pizza flavored stuffing? What? Dude, potato salad is my favorite. That's my... Bro, oh my god. My mom makes it like maybe two or three times a year. And it's always during this time of year. And I... Bro, her potato salad is the bee's knees. Ezekiel Elliott loses in attempt to block six game suspension. Hmm. Store bot stuffing. Huh. Well, that's that store bot stuff, dog. You gotta make that stuff from 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 the beginning, boy. Nicholas Hagar, listen, I'm telling you, man. We can have a little potluck one of these days. You ever in Miami for Thanksgiving, you come through the Uncle Jesse household and, bruh, I'm going to get you fat. You're going to eat amazing. You're going to eat great. The one thing I will say about our Hispanic Thanksgiving, 
I mean, we do pretty much like the the the. We do mashed potatoes, but we don't put it in the stuffing, so we keep that separate. Rice and beans, blase blah, turkey, chicken. We do ham too. We do pork. We do all types of meats. The one thing we don't do, which fucking irks the fuck out of me, is we do not do. Uh, yes, steel. We're good to go on that. The one thing we don't do is desserts. We'll do like. Uh, what would the uh, we do tres leches and things like flan things like that but we don't have the pumpkin pie or the carrot pie or like apple pie like we don't do desserts which breaks my heart because you know thanksgiving without apple pie or pumpkin pie is no bueno well, that would be the beans, Nicholas Hagar. That would be the beans that give you the they give you the the mud butt, which is good because that's what it's supposed to do. It's that fiber, dog. You get that fiber in your system. You know what I'm saying? Clean your tubes out. You feel me? No desserts, bro. No desserts. No desserts. And the you know we do have like I said we do have desserts. Like if you look them up, tres leches is what we do, or arroz con leche. Things like that. Or flan. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of anything I'm talking about right now. But those are our desserts. Which are like rice cakes and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Jakar Samson of the Kings with the auto. But this year, Uncle Jesse going to do things differently. Like, well, actually, I lied. I started doing that last year. Last year, I bought like a bunch of shit. Like, I bought... Apple pie. I bought straight desserts. I bought apple pie. I bought pumpkin pie. I bought carrot. I love carrot pie. That's like my probably my favorite. I also bought. Uh, I went to BJ's, and they had like this big ass like smorgasbord of like pies. There was like cheesecake and like chocolate cake, and it was like all types of cakes in there. Uh, so I had to go to Pound Town on that, and it was a huge success last year. Uh, everybody came over to my mom's house. And that dessert did not last. Luckily, your boy kept a little stash. Because I knew that shit was going to happen. And uh, I ate a whole apple pie to the face. Later on that night. I love this time of year. It's always fun. My birthday, the Thanksgiving... And then Christmas, and then New Year's. I'm just wasted the entire time. Hispanics, we just love an excuse to drink. I feel you, H-Town. Josh Hart of the Lakers with the autograph. Yeah, I dude, that's the thing about this like time of year. Is you put on the LBs like crazy. Which is why I'm trying to make it a point like to start now. Which I bit I should have been doing, but you know I kind of want to get like my diet going now. So when I do, uh, you know, get around to Thanksgiving and whatnot, th that's my cheat day. You know what I mean? Josh Hart is in like every other case. You know, he does like to come to spoil the surprise. Like, oh, you thought you was going to get Alonzo? Nah, bro. And you know, I've never had a Mexican tamale. I've had all kinds of other tamales. I've had uh, Nicaraguan tamales, Venezuelan tamales, Cuban tamales. You know, I got to be biased. Colombian tamales are where it's at. You know, in the and in Hispanic culture, Latino culture, whatever you want to call it, we don't really celebrate Christmas. We more so celebrate the day before Christmas. We celebrate the twenty fourth. Dude, Little Caesars on Thanksgiving? I've been there and I've done that. Oh, don't pause that, Nicholas. I've been there and I've done that. When I was away in college and I didn't come home for the holidays, that's what I did. Uh, I didn't have much money, so I went to Little Caesars. I bought two hot and ready's. Uh, cut some plants. 
And yeah. Do I make plantain dishes? Fuck yeah, we do, Devin. There's this thing that we do. Um, it's like plantain, cheese, and like a meat. And like the way my mom does it, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a papa rellena. It's pretty much mashed potatoes. And in the mashed potatoes, you put meats and you put, you know, all types of other stuff in there. Vegetables if you want, rice, whatever. Um, and then you use the, the potato to, like, mash it together and you, you form a ball. And it's like, you know, it's a little ball with all types of goodness in there. It's a stuffed potato is what it translates to. Papa rellena is a stuffed potato. Uh, I've never had a Mexican tamale, like, so, you know, I, 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 I don't know what's in it. I can only assume it's going to be the same things in most tamales. Corn flour, vegetables, potatoes, some kind of meat, and some rice. But yeah, my mom last year debuted that one. Uh, I won't Well, that's Well, that's, that's different. That's, that's the straight up meat. Like, that's just meatballs. That's what we call meatballs. I won't We call them meatballs. That's another thing about Hispanics, is that uh, one word can mean many different things depending on you know your nationality. All right, I'm officially hungry. I am hungry. You know, I wouldn't mind having me a little Mexican chick. But last time I was with a Mexican chick, she threatened to, like, stab me. So I don't know if I want to go that route. Although, that kind of turned me on. Dude, my mom made rice and potatoes. And a salad. And now I'm trying to cut the carbs out. So that's been on my mind this entire time. Dwayne Bacon of the Hornets with the auto. Like, would you guys be mad if I took a half hour break to get some food and then do the prison for you guys? Would you guys, like, absolutely hate me if I did that? Because I'm hungry. I, I am not going to lie. Y'all know Uncle Jesse don't tell no fibs. Exactly. Dwayne Bacon, like, that does not help the situation. Nothing there. I'm trying to think about what the name of that is. For the Sixers, thought it might have been the Folts, but it's Robert Covington with the autograph. James Harden there. Oh, hell, I can't do that, man. I can't show the food on camera. That's kind of not a good look. I don't think it is anyway. People are going to tune in like, what the hell? Am I, is this the Food Network? What is this? Uh, but it's basically meat and potatoes and a salad is what I got right now. And then I also packed another meal because, you know, I was thinking, oh... You know, I packed the meal thinking I was going to eat before I went live, but then I was stuck in traffic for like an hour because there was like this massive accident on US-1 heading north. So I was stuck in traffic for a good hour. And uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to eat. So right now I'm freaking storing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. We got two boxes left to go through. So far, the biggest card, Jason Tatum. 
with two boxes left. Are we going to see Alonzo? I mean, la we did do a case where Le Jason Tatum and Lonzo Ball came out of the same case. Pretty ridiculous case. Gordon Hayward in that same case, too. Can it happen in the rest of this case? Let's uh, let's hope so. A one on one Lonzo Ball would be uh, ridiculous. Here we go. All right, question. What is your absolutely like? What is one food you cannot live without? I think, I think for me it might be chicken wings. I love chicken, and I love wings. I love me some chicken wings. Ooh, a seventy-six ounce steak. What? Where do that? Where do they do that at? Pizza. I can't eat. That hurts my heart. I can't eat pizza, bro. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat pizza. It's ah, oh, such a heartbreaker. I wonder what pizza tastes like without cheese. I know that's kind of like uh, ridiculous. But I would love to try some of that. I can't eat pizza no more. It's so heartbreaking. Oh, pizza would be yours. Oh, of course there are cows in Colombia. There's all kinds of... Well, that depends. Colombia, I don't think there are any cows in the District of Colombia, McBaba. I don't think uh, Donald Trump wants, you know, cows grazing his fields. Egg, potatoes, and bacon? That sounds like a fire-ass breakfast burrito. Emily, I am trying. I am trying. You know, it would also help if you tell me your team. That way I can put my powers towards it. Because, you know, I don't know what team you have, Emily. Thought I heard something crazy just now. I swear, this office is haunted sometimes. You got Houston, the Nets, and the Hawks. Oh, damn. All right. Something's got to be done here. No, no. All jokes aside, though, in Colombia, they do have cows. They have all kinds of animals in Colombia. We even have a zoo, dog. You know, it's kind of a third world country, but we do have all the first world amenities in certain uh, places. All right. Let's see what we got here. A big old rack of ribs. Well, well, some of you guys live in Texas, so I know I know a lot of you guys can have that amazing barbecue. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. I was watching one of these. Uh, I forgot the name of the show, but it's it's like this guy goes around the entire country, just finding like the best. Uh, like munchy eats and things like that, like crazy challenges or whatnot. I think it's man versus food. Uh, how long until Prism, Scott? When I'm done with this, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna take like a 30 minute break so I can get some food in my system, uh, cause I am going late night today for the Celtics. Sam Ojale with the autograph for the Celtics right there. You think so, Bapa? That is true. That is a long time. 15 minutes tops. Well, listen, how about this? How about I'm not going to take a break? How about I'm just going to stay breaking for y'all? How about that? That is dedication.
Nothing there. How long about? Huh? For a for a dad? Whoa. Um, I'm gonna say I'll be done with this break in like the next. What is it? 12:02. I think by in the next 10 minutes I'll get that prism rocking, my man. Cause I'm almost done with this. And by the time I run the you know the uh, random for the fillers and get the teams together and blah blah blah, uh, I will go ahead and get that thing. I got you, Scott. My bad. You know, uh, I'm a child myself. But uh, in about 10 minutes, my man. I feel you, Scott. I feel you. Now, I'll do that thing like in about 10 minutes. For the Nuggets, Trey Lyles with the autograph. Terrence Ross Magic there. Last box mojo. After this, we're doing prism, baby. I got to do a roast on that last auto for the Celtics, the semi Ojeleye. Uh, yes, Gambi. Prism football is after this. Full case style, baby. You want me to roast him? Like, you want me to make fun of him? <laughs> ah, gotcha, Baba, gotcha. Tell him how you're old, oh, hit quick, old oh, man. That means some fire is about to happen. Let's see if we can at least get Emily one auto here. NC block break is filled. Oh, damn. What is that, the, the one box? The one box break swinging athletics. Yeah, I can't check the store. Let me check that real quick here. See what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about, big dog. All right, cool beans, cool beans. Let's get into this thing. Glass box mojo. Good luck, guys. What was his stat line looking like, Bobster? Well, he is a rookie, 
and he's getting minutes, so he will get better and better. Auto here for the Pelicans. Frank Jackson. With the autograph right there. We should be getting one more. Let's see what we got here. Oh no, Nicholas, you know, do whatever helps, man. If being, you know, being in the player haters ball is how you want to do things, go for it, you know. No one's going to take you, uh, you know, we're a bunch of jokesters here. No one's going to take you uh, too serious, I hope. Seventh on team in minutes. Now you just got to ramp up the production. Celtics do have a nice young team. It's a shame what happened to Gordon, man. That team could have been filthy. I agree, Bapa. I agree. And he's only going to get better. Only going to get better. Brad Stevens is a hell of a coach. Last stack here. The auto is for the Nets, 25 of 25. Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Oh, the Celtics are going to be straight. Jalen Brown, I can already tell that kid is going to be a monster. I could do without the haircut, but, you know, haircut aside, Jalen Brown is a beast. And that was the break. All right, so now... Emily, what I tell you? I told you I was going to come through for you. 25 out of 25, that's pretty good. I'm glad I could at least get you something, Emily. I'm glad I could at least get you something. You know, otherwise, you'd be all like, well, fuck that guy. That guy didn't hit me anything. That guy sucks. I don't know, dude. I'd be worried about the Hayward injury. Like, I saw pictures of him, like, before surgery or whatnot and dude it just looks really bad i'm i'm pulling for him though man i'm pulling for him you know i am not upset that he didn't come to the heat whatever his loss you know he wouldn't have got injured out here but you know i just hope that he gets to play again great player So we got to random this. This is uh, 300, 450 points total. Panini style. Uh, we do have to random them. I always combine Panini points. And uh, let me just grab the teams. You think he's going to be playing next year? You think he's going to be there at the at tip, you know, first game of the season? Because, you know, um, just... I think he'll I think he won't play until January, February of next year. Yeah, I agree with that statement as well, Ra Ra. And uh let's roll some dice here. So we're gonna go eight times in the random. Put the sheet up, boom. So top team in the list gets four hundred and fifty putting points. Good luck guys. Six, seven, and the money shot is eight. Goes to the Cavs. Speaking of the Cavs, Cavs getting the hit, getting uh, 450 Panini points. Got that there. This is very true, Bobster. Very true. How about, how about Giannis? Looks like he's finally taking that leap into uh, into the elite players. Cavs look absolutely terrible. I was talking earlier how Dwayne Wade doesn't even look like Dwayne Wade. I feel like that's a doppelganger out there. All right, recap time. 
Ronnie Hollis Jefferson to 25 Nets. Frank Jackson Pelicans. Trey Lyles Nuggets. Semi Ogeleye Celtics. Robert Covington Sixers. Timberwolves look really good. Dwayne Bacon Hornets. Josh Hart Lakers. The Lakers don't look too bad either. They got a lot of talent. Kyle Kuzma, another rookie not many people talking about. And he's a stud. Jakar Sampson Kings. J.J. Reddick Sixers. Justin Patton Timberwolves. Speaking of, another Sampson Kings. Frank Tilakina Knicks. Jason Tatum for the Celtics. That's huge. C.J. Wilcox Trailblazers. Donovan Mitchell Jazz. Alec Burke Jazz. Ivan Rab Grizzlies. And that was the recap. And that, my friends, was 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 10 box half case break number four eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.